today. Our lesson for today is all about domain and range of rational functions. In this video, students will be able to, number one, define domain and range. Number two, find the domain and range of rational function. And lastly, appreciate the importance of domain and range in real life. What is a rational function? A rational function is a function of the form of f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions, and q of x is not a zero function. What is domain and range of rational functions? The domain of the rational function f of x is equal to p of x over q of x is all values of x that will not make the q of x is equal to 0. Example, f of x is equal to 5 over x. And then the domain is x is not equal to 0. Because if the value of x is equal to 0, that will be undefined. To find the domain of the rational function, set the denominator equal to 0 and solve for x. While the range of the rational function are the possible resulting var values of the dependent variables after we have substituted the domain. To find the range of the rational function, find the inverse of the function and second one, Find the domain of the inverse function and state the range. The domain of the inverse function will be the range of the rational functions. Example number one. Find the domain and range of rational function of f of x is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 5. To find the domain, equate the denominator to 0. So again, your function is f of x is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 5. Equate the denominator to 0, so x minus 5 is equal to 0. So x is equal to, from negative 5 will become to positive 5. So meaning, the domain of the rational function is all real numbers except x is not equal to 5. How about to get the range? So you need to assign your f of x to y. So y is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 5. Apply cross multiply. So y times x minus 5 is equal to x plus 4. Then after that, multiply. So y times x is xy. y times negative 5 is negative. 5y is equal to x plus 4. Then after that, combine with the same variables. This why xy from positive will become to negative x is equal to from negative 5y will become to positive 5y plus 4. Then after that, factor this by x times y minus 1 is equal to 5y plus 4. Then, we need to cancel y minus 1 to divide by y minus 1. So, cancel, cancel. This is why x is equal to 5y plus 4 over y minus 1. To get the range, Equate the denominator to 0, so y minus 1 is equal to 0. So y is equal to, from negative 1, will become to positive 
1. So, y is equal to 1. So, meaning the range is all real numbers except y is not equal to 1. Another example number 2. Find the domain and range of the rational function of f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 2. Again, equate the denominator to 0. f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 2. So, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to from negative 2 will become to positive 2. That will be the value of our x. So, meaning the domain is all real numbers except x is not equal to 2. How about the range? Assign your f of x to y. So, y is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 2. So, apply cross multiplication. So, y times x minus 2 is equal to x plus 2. So, y times x is xy. y times negative 2 is negative 2y is equal to x plus 2. Then, after that, combine xy from positive will become to negative x is equal to from negative will become to positive 2y plus 2. Then after that, factor out this. So, x times y minus 1 is equal to 2y plus 2. So, divide both sides by y minus 1 to cancel this. So, x is equal to 2y plus 2 over y minus 1. Then again, to find the range is equate the denominator. So, y minus 1 is equal to 0. So, y is equal to 1. So, the range is all real numbers except y is not equal to 1. Example number 3. Find the domain and range of the rational function of f of x is equal to 2x minus 4 over x squared. Again, to find the domain of the rational function is equate the denominator to 0. f of x is equal to 2x minus 4 over x squared. So, our denominator is x squared is equal to 0. Get the square root. Both side. So, I square root of x squared is x is equal to 0. So, meaning the domain is all real numbers except x is not equal to 0. How about to find the range? Assign your f of x to y. So, y is equal to 2x minus 4 over x squared. Apply cross multiplication, so y times x squared is y, x squared is equal to 2x minus 4. If you can see, this, the highest degree is 2, so this is a quadratic equation. So combine, so y, x squared from positive and negative will become negative 2x and positive 4 is equal to 0, meaning this is called quadratic equations. So, in this case, we apply about discriminant. So, again, what is the formula to find to get the applying the discriminant is p squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. We need to find what is your A, what is your B, and what is your 
C. Your A is Y, your B is negative 2, and your C is 4. Substitute. So, negative 2 squared minus 4 times Y, and your C is 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So, negative 2 squared is 4 minus 16Y is greater than or equal to 0. So, 4 is greater than or equal to from negative will become to positive 16. Why? To cancel 16, divide both sides by 16. So, cancel, cancel. So, the answer is 1 over 4 is greater than or equal to y. So, it meaning our range is our range now is all real numbers except y is less than or equal to one fourth. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share and comment, subscribe to Teacher Rent TV. Thank you.